Welcome everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Catherine's Plates, where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. Today it is very blustery and chilly. So guess what I'm bringing into my kitchen today? A warm, chilly recipe in my crock pot, all right? It's a beanless recipe, so if you want to add beans to yours, all right, you can go ahead and add beans to it. That is totally fine. So you're probably asking me, what in the world are you going to bulk up your chili with? You're not going to just eat meat and seasonings, are you? Nope. I'm going to tell you all. I got a few things I'm going to be adding in. Oh my gosh. It's going to absorb all the flavors of this chili. All right. So y'all, I'm going to take you over there behind me, show you the ingredients that we're going to use to make this beanless chili in the crock pot. If you're ready, let's go. All right, so here's all the ingredients that we're going to use today to make my beanless chili in the crock pot. And I'm going to be starting off with two and a quarter pounds of ground beef, because if I'm going to be making chili, I'm going to be making chili. All right, and then instead of beans today, we are going to be using vegetables, and I'm just going to be dicing up one bell pepper, one large onion. I've got a large carrot here and I've got a zucchini. Now you can mix and match or do whatever you want in your chili. You can even add the beans to it if you want. We're not really a bean lover in this house so I've always had to add some vegetables to kind of bulk it up. Now for the seasonings I've got salt, pepper, I've got chili powder. I'm going to be using about three tablespoons of that about one to two tablespoons of cumin. I'm going to put it in and um, see where we stand with that flavor. And then just for a little extra heat there, I'm going to add some red pepper flakes. Just very little. Don't tell my husband that. <laughs> and then I'm going to add one 14 ounce can of some diced tomatoes, one 14 ounce can of beef broth, now I am going to add in some diced green chilies. This is a four ounce can. You don't have to add that if you don't want to. We like it in there. And then instead of tomato paste or tomato sauce, we use tomato soup. And I'm going to be using about half of this can here and um, see if we need to add any more to that because we'll also add water to it also. All right, so let's go ahead and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to brown up our ground beef. I like to add my diced onion to my ground beef while it cooks. Oh, it just gives it so much flavor. So what I'm going to do is just take off the ends here. I'm going to cut it in half. And in quarters. And then I'm going to take off the skin. Who likes to aromatic their ground beef with onion? Oh my gosh, right? All right, cut that in half. I'm gonna bring my chopper over here and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna chop these up and the size that I use. I've got my handy dandy chopper here. Now it's got a pretty big blade on there because this is gonna be sitting in the crock pot for quite a while and I don't wanna lose the onion, all right? Now, if you can see, look at that. You see how big that case is down there? It's going to do all of these onions pretty quickly. Look at that. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and start sauteing these up with the ground beef and browning that up. All right, so just in a regular skillet over medium high, I'm going to add a little bit of oil. Now, as you know, my favorite oil is avocado oil. It adds a nice flavor to things. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon or two. Heat that up. Right, I'm going to go ahead now and add my onions. Now if you like my chopper here, you can check it out in the description box down below. I usually list things that I like to use in my kitchen during the episode and um, so y'all can see what it is. So it's just Amazon links in my description box. One flew right out of the pot, didn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to give this about two minutes, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my ground beef to it. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and add my ground beef. And my other favorite tool in the kitchen is my meat chopper here. 
And what you do is you just put it on the meat, push down, and twist. And it breaks it up into the nice pieces that we like. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thoroughly brown up this ground beef and then I'm going to bring it back. Alright, so all of my ground beef is all nice and browned up and look at those delicious onions in there, all nice and soft. Alright, that's what's going to give a lot of flavor too because we pre-cooked it. I'm going to go ahead now and add all of my meat into my crock pot here. Alright, I'm going to chop up the rest of my vegetables so I can put those into my chili. I'm just going to cut this into pieces that will fit my chopper here. All right, do you see all those vegetables in there? Wow, it held all of that. All right, guess where it's going? Right into my pot with my ground beef. All right, we're gonna go ahead now and add our diced tomatoes, our beef broth, diced chili peppers, half a can of our tomato soup, and then I'm gonna put in a cup of water. I'm gonna give that a big mix and then we'll season it. Gosh, it looks so good in there already. Mmm. Look at that. Can y'all imagine hours from now what this will look like? Oh my gosh. Alright, let me go get my seasonings. Alright, let's go in with a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna taste after it's all said and done. <laughs> Some pepper, lots of pepper. All right, about three tablespoons of chili powder. Cumin, always, right? And I'm gonna add some, just some red chili pepper flakes here, just a little bit. There we go. All right, I'm gonna give this a big mix and then we're gonna try it and see if the flavors are where we want them. Stir it good, get it all mixed up completely here. Oh, that's looking really good. Let me get a spoon. Oh, that's good. You know what, it does need a little bit more salt though. All those vegetables and the meat and the onions, we need to make sure it's all salted really well. That's looking really good. What do y'all think? Mmm. Y'all want a bowl of that? That's it, y'all. I'm going to put a lid on it. Now, I'm going to cook this high for about four, five hours, or you can do this on low from six to eight hours. All right, I'm looking for my vegetables to be nice and soft and that flavor to be coming through everything. I will be back. All right, y'all, so before my chili gets done today, I am going to be making some cornbread, so I'm super excited about that. And so is my husband. He loves cornbread with his chili. How many of y'all love cornbread with your chili? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, there we go. Okay, y'all, I am ready to go into my beanless chili here. You saw how that was made in my crock pot. I went ahead and I shredded up some fresh cheddar cheese. I sliced up some green onions here, mm, right? And then I have sour cream ready. Now, right before this was done, I went and I made my cornbread muffins. Look at those. All right, y'all, I know. You ready for this top to come off of here? Let's dig in. Oh, mmm. Okay. It smells amazing. You want to see? All right, come a little closer. I told you, look at the beautiful ingredients in there. Oh my gosh. A beautiful chili for a chilly day outside. I've got my favorite bowl here. Yummy. <laughs> this is 
What's the name of my bowl? Here we go. All right, let's jazz it up. All right, y'all, that is my bowl of chili. Let me get my spoon. <laughs> mm. Sour cream, green onions, and some cheese right there. All those flavors mm. went into those vegetables they're nice and tender it's very flavorful very delicious oh my gosh don't forget your cornbread muffins to go with it <laughs> all right y'all thank you so much for coming to my show today for my crock pot beanless chili oh my gosh and you saw what I did to put in there that was not a bean all right, comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all. I will see you on my next episode.